Hi guys welcome to my channel before starting subscribe and like the videos it really helps the content from this video are taken from the web novel and manga series of Mushoku Tensai Jobless Reincarnation now please enjoy the video. Part 7 After arriving in front of Nanahoshi's research room I wonder how I should break the ice, she's the solitary type, while taking a Suntsen attitude, on the contrary she might show a large amount of loneliness. I'm going to be absent for up to two years if it comes down to that, her research will stagnate as well, her journey home has already been progressing slowly at best. Natural as it is, I'm sure she'll try to restrain me, probably with some kind of reason attached, she might try to threaten me as well, if you're going to go on a trip then, I'll fuck Silphy, if I'm told something like that I wonder what I should do. I don't think she's Yandere to that extent though. Phew, I took a single breath. A single knock. Come in. After waiting for a response, I enter the research room. Nanahoshi raises her face from the desk and looks over here. What? It's different from the usual time though. Actually, I've come to give notice of something unfortunate. Unfortunate notice. Nanahoshi was making a puzzled face. Well, it doesn't really change how I talk about it. I'll just say it as it is. I'm leaving on a journey. Since my family is in trouble, I'll be going as far as Labyrinth City Lapan on the Begarito continent, round trip it will take about two years or so. A. Eh? After spending a short while dumbfounded, Nanahoshi stood up while kicking off from the chair sharply, she put her hand on top of the desk and looked at me with a dumbfounded face. Begarito, Labyrinth City Lapan, two years, she continued to repeat my words like she was considering over them, I'm very sorry about this, even though I said I would help you. But, no matter what, this is something that I have to go and do. Nanahoshi opened her eyes after hearing my words and took a deep breath. And then, sat down in the chair with a bang and looked up at the ceiling. Two years, after I return, I'll properly continue to help out with your research. Two years. Nanahoshi crossed her arms and didn't say anything but two years. More than that, she didn't say anything else. She's not trying to restrain me or cry out either. Just, she's looking at the ceiling like she's thinking about something. Just like that, about half the time passed, today is nothing but painful times, well then, please excuse me, it can't be helped, even she should understand that I'm only helping out of goodwill. I'm sure she really wants to restrain me, she's enduring it, I turned heel and was about to leave, wait a minute, I stopped my feet at that voice, honestly, I don't really want to chat. I know she's going to try and stop me, but, I'm sure it's better to properly talk it out, thinking that, I turn around. From the lowest drawer of her desk Nanahoshi takes out something like a notebook. She turns over the pages flipping through that, she opens it to a certain page and shows it to me. Look at this. Just as I was told I take a look. The notebook had scraps of a map attached to it. I have a recollection of the map, it's the surroundings of this city. Even though I say that, the scale is somewhat large. On the top part of the map, in somewhat large letters, N1, was written. In a certain forest in the southwest a red cross mark was made. Above the cross mark the letters, B3, were written. This is? Nanahoshi was clearly hesitating. Whether to say it or not to say it. However, in the end she said it. It's a map of the locations of the ruins scattered around the world with teleport magic circles in them. Teleport magic circles? A. Eh? I let my eyes fall on the notebook again. The letters, B3, could this perhaps be? It's the teleport magic circle to Begarito continent. Oh well, come to think of it. Come to think of it, Nanahoshi did say she traveled around together with Orsted. If I remember correctly, they were making use of the teleport magic circles scattered across the world to travel here and there. You said you didn't remember the location, that's right. Nanahoshi said she couldn't remember the location of the teleport magic circles. Orsted forbid me from speaking about it and that I shouldn't reveal it. That time, I said I couldn't remember it either way, so I couldn't say it anyways but but, she left a record of it in case the time ever comes up where she needs it huh? Secretly drawing a map in each place, or else writing the map in text. Casually asking Orsted the name of the land. Nearby towns and remembering the general location. It's not memory, but a record. I flipped through the pages of the notebook. It's far from perfection. In places where she couldn't buy a map or she couldn't even arrive in a town, she just wrote, a mountain can be seen on the left side. Most likely three days to the east, we'll cross a single river, furthermore two days, and used that sort of writing manner. The alphabet shows the continent name and the number seems to show the order they're passed through. N is for the northern part of central continent, S is for the southern part of central continent, 
W is for the western part of Central Continent, MT is Magic Continent, ML is Millis Continent, I guess is expected there's none for Heaven Continent, and then, B is for Begarito Continent, in places where she didn't know which continent she was on she used the alphabet letters X and Y. It was a single volume showing the effort Nanahoshi put in afterwards, I've certainly heard the name of the city known as Lapan. I remember it. This teleport magic circle will take you to somewhere nearby a certain bazaar, if you move north for about a month or so, you should arrive. Therefore, it shouldn't be a mistake. One month, you say, I turn back to the page from just now. Renoa Kingdom. It's in the forest southwest from the magic city Sharia. The scaling of this map makes it hard to tell, it seems to be about 10 days or so of distance. It might be even closer. It's there, the location of the magic circle that will take you to B3. I turn the page. B3 is on the previous page. In order to get to a nearby town from the B3 magic circle it will take about one week it seems. From there it will take about one month, in other words that means. 47 days. Round trip would be 94 days. We can do a round trip in just three months. If we can finish things up on the other side within one month then. Four months. We'll make it. We'll end up making it in time. For Sylphie's childbirth. It won't make it in time for the mating season of Rinia and Persena. But that is, well, that doesn't matter at all. But, is it fine? You were forbidden from speaking about it right? I hesitated over it. But I relied on you the other day after all. Although, I'd like for you not to talk about it too much. Since teleport magic circles are a forbidden technique. If they're spread around in the world, there's something a country could easily destroy. If they were to be destroyed then that would mean Orsted's means of moving around would be decreased huh? The ones who he would be angry with are those who revealed it, which would be Nanahoshi or me for sure. Orsted, just being reminded of that name makes me start trembling. I won't say it, to anyone at all. Thank you, Nanahoshi. This is a big help. I just want to return home faster. Nanahoshi said that while snorting through her nose with a HMPH. Embarrassed Tsunere. I took the notebook in my hand and deeply lowered my head. And then, turned heel and left in high spirits. Ah, I forgot to say it, but on the first page there's the mark that shows the location of the ruins with the magic circle, and the method to break into the concealment magic is written down there, so make sure you properly read it. Understood. I'm indebted to you. I'm just repaying the debt. While making a bitter smile at those words from Nanahoshi, I leave the research room. That's it guys thank you for watching subscribe if you want more and don't forget to like the videos.